We're going to look at a couple of ways to bootstrap a Spring Boot application, but the first one that I want to talk about is this web UI that's on the Spring website. Uh, it's on start.spring.io, which lets you bootstrap an application by choosing your options and downloading it. So here it says Spring Initializer, bootstrap your application now. It has options for what you want your project to be. So here you say select a Maven project or you can choose a Gradle project, but we want Maven in this case. I choose a Maven project with Spring Boot version, you can choose the version. So I'm gonna choose 1.4.2 because that's the you know the latest stable version in this list. I'm gonna choose that. And now here I can choose the project metadata. So these are the coordinates for my Maven build. If you remember, we had uh, a bunch of coordinates added in the previous example. So here I'm gonna do io.java brains spring boot quick start and then i'm going to have this be course api and now here i can choose the dependencies now we can search for the dependencies or i can switch to the full version where it gives me a list of dependencies so here are all the things that you can add to your spring boot application remember we chose starter web it's the full stack web development with tomcat and spring mvc so we had this when we added that starter web dependency to the palm.xml. But another way to do this is to create a project here and then check this checkbox. And now if I click on generate project, it's gonna download a fully prepared Maven project with that dependency added. Well, now how do you know what are the other dependencies that you need to add to the palm.xml? You don't have to know that. You need security via Spring Security, just check this checkbox and the related Spring security dependencies will be added to the palm.xml that gets downloaded over here. You want AOP, just check this checkbox. So you have all these options over here in this menu. You can choose all the things that you need. Uh, we have database connections as well, which we're gonna handle in a later unit. We have cloud-related configuration. There's a whole lot of stuff that you can add to your Spring Boot application. And uh, just check all the things that you need and then click on generate project. So in this case, all I have is the group, the artifact ID, the name is course API, and this is uh, the description, Java Brains course API. I have the package name here, packaging is a jar, Java version, I can choose 1.8, you remember we did uh, add the property there. The language is Java, and now I can click on generate project. Now what the page does is it downloads this zip file that I can choose to extract. And now in my IDE, I can import that project that I've downloaded. I'm gonna say import an existing Maven project. Click next, provide the path where I have downloaded the project and extracted it. Now here's the palm.xml that came with it. And I click finish. The ID is importing this project and building it as a Maven project. Now here, if you look at the palm.xml and switch to palm.xml tab, now here you can see there's a lot of what we did in the first unit, which is just done for us. So here you see there is a parent section, which points to Spring Boot Starter Parent, which we've already done. And uh, we have the java.version property set to 1.8, but it also does a couple more. It has the source encoding and the output encoding set to UTF-8 as well. Uh, it has the Spring Boot Starter Web, which is what we added as a dependency, but it also has a Spring Boot Starter Test because you would imagine you'd write test cases for it. So it kind of bundles that as the default. It also has a Spring Boot Maven plugin for better Maven integration. So this, is the project and now if you ex open the course api application java so here you see it has created this java class but when we created a blank maven project this class was obviously empty and we had to add this code you remember we had to add the spring boot application annotation and we had to add the spring application dot run well this comes out of the box with that download so all you have to do is click the run button and run it as a java application and things are going to work just like your you have seen before in the previous unit. This is one way to start a Spring Boot application. It gives you a, a UI, which has like a menu of options if you're not really sure what you want to choose.
So the name of this online application is called Spring Initializer and it's available at this URL, stat.spring.io.